Hello and welcome back to Clicks on the Side. Today I wanted to do a brief review on the Royal Flush Gang. Uh, I was able to get my hands on a set of these guys and I hadn't seen any or many videos out yet. So I figured I'd at least share what these guys could do with everyone. Um, we're going to start off first with 10. Here is the sculpt. I was a huge fan of this episode of Batman Beyond, so I was very glad to see this iteration of the Royal Flush Gang come in, as opposed to, I believe there was a Justice League Unlimited one, but this was the one I grew up knowing, so happy to see them get some love. Uh, she does come in at 50 points. All five of these actually do come at 50 points, but she has both. Oh, that's kind of neat how they got the that has the Batman team ability and Batman enemies team ability. Uh, I don't know if that was a misprint and they were like, oh, wait, we need to have the second one printed on there and they just printed it over it. Or if that was on purpose, but that's something I've not seen before. I thought that was kind of neat. And 10 actually comes with a team up card so i'm just going to show you that one as opposed to her regular card since it has all the information on it anyway 10 uh, has batman family gotham city underworld royal flush gang and future keywords um, her team up ability is with batman family if 10 is part of a listed theme team at the beginning of the game other friendly characters with the batman uh, family team ability also gain Batman enemy team ability. So that can come in pretty handy. Um, not as many Batman family out there right now. Um, so looking forward to seeing some more of those coming shortly. I'm sure there will be plenty in the next set coming out. She also has the trait Ten of Hearts. When Ten carries one or more characters with the Batman family keyword after resolutions... Excuse me, after resolutions, heal her and the carried characters one click. Actually, I know I'm going to have to show you her regular card, too. It is uh, actually quite different. Okay, so uh, she also has a special uh, damage ability. Uh, outwit probability control. When 10 uses either, she has a minimum range of 6. Five clicks long, sidestep throughout, flight, and then that special damage power with the super senses and combat reflexes. So that is her team up card. And then I didn't notice that the traits were actually different. Uh, the, the second trait was actually different. So here is the regular card. Um, all five of these characters have the Royal Flush trait. When, uh, when 10 is KO'd, before placing her in the KO area, turn her to any dial, uh, turn her dial to any KO click. So there you'll see they have four different suits, so you can pick what suit you want her to be in your KO area. Well, then the, uh, the other trait she has that is not on the team up card, uh, the Aristocrats, uh, yeah, Aristocrats of Crime 10. Choose an improvement plus an additional improvement for each club displayed on characters in your KO area. 10 can use the chosen abilities until your next turn. That'll come in very handy with this team as well. Next up, we are going to go with Jack. This is one I was most excited about when I first saw the set. I, I know he wasn't the main guy, but I always liked him in there. I think he was a little different from all the others. I kind of got the little dagger action going there. Reminds me of an old Talon sculpt. Also coming in at 50 points. And here is his card. He has... The Batman enemy team ability. Keywords are Cotham City Underworld, Royal Flush Gang, Future, and Martial Artist, which I'm very happy about. 
Um, you don't see too many martial artists keywords with a range attack. Um, Punisher is the only one I can think of offhand from the spider, the latest Spider-Man set. Um, but it's, uh, it's nice to have another one so you can actually keep some people at bay instead of having to be right up in the fight. Again, has the Royal Flush, uh, Flush trait. And he has his own version of the Aristocrats of Crime. When an opposing character attacks Jack and misses him, after resolution steal them one penetrating damage for each diamond displayed on characters in your starting area. Also five clicks long at 50 points. Running shot with a special um, attack power, which I'll get into here in a second. ESD and perplex a start. Some enhancement and super senses at the tail end. Now, another reason why I like him, he only has four range, which a year ago would have been a bummer. It's not so bad now. But he does have this attack power, which is Blades, Claws, Fangs, but can be used during close or ranged attacks. So, Blades from range, I'll take that all day. For 50 points, a ranged martial artist, he's going to see some play on other teams other than just the Royal Flush Gang for me. So very happy to add him. Next up, we are going to go with Queen. There she is with her mighty scepter. For some mind control goodness. She also has the Batman enemy team ability for 50 points. There she is. I do love how they put them all on their flying cards, too. That was an excellent little touch, I thought. Which, by the way, all five of these have flight. All five of them can fly and, uh, and carry for you if they need to. Alright, here is Queen's card. Royal Flush again. Um, she has the Gotham City Underworld, Royal Flush Gang, Future, and Ruler keyword. So if you're looking for more rulers, we got a couple more here for you. Uh, Aristocrats of Crime Queen. Roll a d6, increasing the result by one for each heart displayed on characters in your KO area. Six. Given an, give an action token to an opposing character within range and line of fire. Then she also has a special attack power. Electric Scepter. Incapacitate. Once per turn for all characters with this power, when a friendly character with Royal Flush Gang keyword within range hits after resolutions, you may deal each hit character damage equal to its action tokens. So that's pretty handy. Um, it doesn't have to be her that hits, it just has to be in range. Um, and there is a, a, a figure coming up later that has some... Uh, keyword play that can give other figures the Royal Flush Gang keyword so it's not necessarily just her you can do that with um, everybody else is um, sorry I had a phone call coming in uh, everybody else um, has one target she has two targets so of the Royal Flush Gang she'd be the most uh, the one you'd want to use that with but if you're able to get other guys in there with, um, uh, say, two or three targets, that would come in real handy. So she has hypersonic speed to start with, that special in cap, uh, mastermind, and shape change. Then later on, she has uh, plasticity, poison, willpower, and some, uh, some leadership to end up the dial. Next up, we are going with the king himself. I just love all these sculpts. It just screams classic Warner Brothers animation. I, I, I was a huge fan of the Batman animated series set and the Justice League Unlimited set. So seeing these guys in clicks form just makes me very happy. Again, uh, we have the Batman enemy team ability. Also has the Gotham City Underworld keyword, the Royal Flush Gang, Future and Ruler keywords. 
Royal Flush Trait, and the Aristocrats of Crime King. Turn any number of characters in your KO area to any other KO click. So, if you set them on a suit and they're in your KO uh, area, you can still change them as long as this guy's on the board. Then he has a special damage power, Leadership and Shape Change. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose a card suit until you choose again friendly effects that count the characters displaying in the chosen symbol. Uh, the chosen symbol in your KO area also count King even if he's not in the KO area. And there you see he's got six clicks long. Charge, Blades, Invuln. Not bad at all. Another 50 point ruler for six clicks. Um, yeah. The, the whole team all together should be pretty solid. And that's going to bring us up to my, my favorite piece of the five here shown. And that's going to be Ace. And I hit the camera. Sorry about that. And I'll tell you why Ace is my favorite here in just a moment. Does not get the card treatment, but he doesn't need the card treatment. Because Ace has Batman Enemy Team Ability. Also has Gotham City Underworld, Royal Flush Gang, Brute, Future, and my favorite keyword, Robot. Very happy to see he's a robot. Alright, he has Aristocrats of Crime Ace. Impervious. When Ace uses it, increase the result by plus one for each spade displayed on the characters in your KO area. Protected Outwit. So, Outwittable, Impervious, I'll take that. Has a 19 Defend to start. Love that. With Empower. And he can fly and carry. So, he can taxi around other robots with a 19 Defend and give them Empower. The reason I love that so much is I am going to plan to team him up with Super Rare Spider from the Ama uh, Beyond Amazing set. And I don't know if you know this about Spider, but her special um, attack power there with that 11 is Web and Punch. In cap, when, Do when Spider hits with a range attack after resolutions, you may place a hit opposing character in a square adjacent to Spider. Then Spider may make a close attack. So, my plan is to have Ace carry up Spider. Uh, using Defend, giving it a 19 Invincible. Let Spider just hide behind Ace. Um, next turn, Spider can running shot up in cap someone. Pull them back, to, or not even in cap, because it just has to be a range attack. So just do a range attack on a target, pull them back towards Spider, then do a close attack. And then you can follow up uh, with the Empower, by the way, from Ace. So there's two attacks there. Then do a third attack with Ace. Then if they're still alive, they are stuck there. Um... Right beside Ace and Spider, both with 19s, and there's just nothing they can do to get away. So, that is something I'm very much looking forward to doing with Ace. And that leads me to my favorite piece of this kit, and that is the Legacy card for Ace from the Justice League Unlimited set. Um, I... Knew I should have picked this car, this figure up before. Uh, I, I was not lucky enough to pull it when uh, the set was relevant or uh, legal. And I should have just picked it up for the sculpt alone. I didn't, so I paid the price for it, literally. Um, but she is here now, and I had to have her. And you'll see why here in just a moment. But here is the card itself. Very reflective. 
There she is. Has Gotham City Underworld Project... Uh, had to turn it. Project Cadmus. Royal Flush Gang keywords. She is 50 points for five clicks. That doesn't seem too special in its own right. But what makes her special is that trait. Warp Reality. Shape Change. Outwit. Other characters, friendly and opposing, can't use Outwit, Safeguard Outwit, or pr Protected Outwit. So if I'm understanding correctly, that means that nullifies Power Cosmic. Um, given she would still be the only one who could Outwit, but Power Cosmic abilities could be Outwitted by her. Uh, that's my understanding. If that's wrong, please do correct me. Let me know. Uh, has six range with two targets, a special um, movement power with TK to start, barrier, and perplex. Uh, some pin psi after that, and the last click has uh, pulse wave, super senses. So again, if you get to her, she's not going to take a beating, but the, the plan is to not let them get that close to her. Her special movement power is empowering her, oh, I'm sorry, that's her trait. And this is one reason I needed to have her. Empowering her own gang. When establishing theme teams, friendly characters with the Arkham Asylum, Gotham City Underworld, or Suicide Squad keywords, gain the Royal Flush Gang keyword. I heavily collect Suicide Squad figures, so much that I had the Calendar Man, and I I had I didn't want the Calendar Man, but the Legacy card had the keyword, so I had to have them. So, I was happy to get her, needed to get her because of the Suicide Squad part. She's not technically Suicide Squad, but she's going to be relevant on Suicide Squad teams. Um, she also has the special movement power, Mind Control. When Ace uses it, modify her attack plus two, and, after resolutions, hit characters, modify attack minus two, until your next turn. That is awesome. Now, I do like that she has Barrier to start. Um, not only to protect herself, but the one person I want to team her up with the most... Well, two people, actually. Is... They're actually right there in the background. I want to team her up with two Suicide Squad members. King Shark, Super Rare from Notorious. And Captain Cold, Uncommon from Notorious. Captain Cold on his 40-point dial, mainly because he has the barrier and the leadership that's going to be needed for it. And the reason I want them to have the barrier, uh, both him and Ace, is King Shark's special movement, where uh, even faster in water, charge Splicity. He also has improved... Uh, movement through uh, blocking so that he gains hypersonic speed but only if King Shark occupies water terrain. When King Shark uses it, he may use Flurry as free instead of making an attack. And then you can see with his trait, uh, when King Shark destroys blocking terrain after resolutions generate water terrain markers in the squares of the destroyed terrain. So, Pretty much have one of uh, either Captain Cold or Ace throw up a barrier, have King Shark destroy a piece of that barrier to be, then be standing in water terrain. Next turn, he can hypersonic up to 10. Give him Bucky's arm from the Guardian set, the holiday set. Hypersonic up with a flurry. 13 for 5 penetrating damage. I'm all about that. I, I want to find a way to make that work, and I'm ready to give to test that out. Uh, then you can throw up a second barrier with Ace or uh, Captain Cold, whoever that you didn't use the first go around. But that is the Royal Flush Gang. Um, I got the map too. Um, unfortunately, I 
does not look like I'm going to be able to play in the actual OP event, but I knew as soon as I saw these guys released, I had to have them, and I'm very glad to have them in my collection. Let me know what you think. Uh, how do you feel about the Royal Flush Gang? Do you think it's going to be a good event? Um, yeah, let me know how you feel and what you think of my strategies with uh, both of the aces, if you think those could work out for me. Uh, that was my review of the Royal Flush Gang, and until next time, this has been Clicks on the Side.